every journey begins with a single step. And for this group that meets every Sunday morning to train for the upcoming Delhi Marathon, it began with signing up for a 16-week program that takes them straight from the couch to the finish line. The marathon is a difficult distance to master, no matter if your only goal is to cross the finish line or if you're a competitive runner on the hunt for a personal best. Everything from an ache in your calf to a hot spot on your foot to that carefully calculated cup of water that you missed is heightened when you're aiming to cover 21 kilometers on foot. But that's part of the lure of the marathon. And hey, if it were easy, the accomplishment wouldn't be as coveted. So here's some essential advice for you if you're training for the marathon. Start your training with an assessment of your current fitness levels and start easy. And over a few months, work your way to running close to the final distance. The three key factors for improved running performance are volume, frequency and intensity. But non-running exercise can and will improve your overall running performance. Training for the marathon is a state of mind that loudly proclaims nothing is impossible. And for these runners, the physical part, that's just the half of it. Marathon runners need to simultaneously prepare themselves physically as well as mentally. Self-talk can help counter the loud screaming voice in your head telling you to stop and go home. Try positive affirmations. You can also visualize. Visualize what the finish line area will look like and see in your mind's eye the spectators who will be cheering for you. Strength and core exercises are the perfect complement to running. Core strength plays a vital role in stabilizing your entire body during running by maintaining a neutral pelvis and by delaying the breakdown in your form when you're fatigued. Not only does core work strengthen your body and prevent injuries, but it also improves your running economy. It will hurt, it will take time, it will take sacrifice and dedication. But for these runners, the minute they touch that finishing line, it's all going to be worth it. But that desire to get the best from yourself can lead you to try too hard. So when your shoulder is up to your ears from strain, and if you're hunching forward from exhaustion, you're wasting time. And when it just isn't your day, the most difficult decision is deciding how to proceed. And the two best options then are to slow the pace, and if even that doesn't work, stop the workout entirely. When you're struggling this much, it's better to put the workout behind you and just move forward with the training. Come back with a fresh start and just move ahead. Don't look back. Marathon runners often develop mantras that they repeat to themselves over and over again to get them through the dark moments of their race. The moment when you hit a wall. The moment a leg cramp creeps up. The moment you want to stop. At that time, they pick a phrase and they repeat it over and over. A lyric of a song maybe, or the name of a loved one. The idea is to just keep running till you cross that line.